Hi and welcome to the Further Math short video series. My name is Brady and I'm the Further Math tutor here at ATAR Notes. Today we'll start off by looking at the Further Math course generally. Uh, so first of all we've got our core modules okay and within the core module is data analysis as well as finance and recursion. On top of that they've got further modules that uh, schools decide for themselves and they choose two modules out of the four being geometry, graphs and relations, networks and matrices. In terms of marking, uh, everyone will do core and so they are marked um, obviously for everyone and then within the exam you'll complete the two modules that your school has chosen. The exam is split into two exams. So there's exam one, a multiple choice uh, exam, and exam two, a short answer exam. And each of those exams are worth a third of your mark. Your SAC marks make up a third of your overall mark as well. In these video series, we'll be covering the core modules. It's a little bit hard to be covering the, uh, the school modules, so we apologize for that, but the core will definitely be covered in full. For further maths, all students are able to bring in a summary book and a calculator into all of their SACs as well as the exams. And this summary book and, and as well as the calculator will be sort of the key components as to how you'll be answering questions. The, the summary book is crucially important. Uh, you need to be making sure that you're up to date with that throughout the year and filling it out as much as you possibly can. For me, I chose to put my explanations on the left-hand side page and then left the right-hand side for examples and any tricky bits from uh, practice exams and that sort of thing. Definitely stay on top of it and make sure that you know it back to front. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and make sure to check out the next video.